Whoa, what's up? Today's video is on Gail King. Now, if you new here, what the fuck we do here is read, listen, watch, and we block talk, break that shit down. And you know what? It don't matter if your case was dismissed. It don't matter if you was proven innocent. It don't even matter if you dead. Gail King and Oprah is coming for your black ass, goddammit. Now let's read the fucking headline. Gail King responds to backlash after asking Lisa Leslie about Kobe Bryant's rape charge. Ain't that a bitch? First of all, y'all, she ain't get a lash into her back yet, goddammit. Who knows what the future may bring, even though we at BTN do not condone violence and shit like that. Anything you hear here is simply satire anyway as you witness a fucking rebel network why didn't they say a rape charge that was dismissed or him being wrongfully charged no they said Kobe Bryant's rape charge so they already putting rape on the man understand how they play with these words god damn it that's why BTN can never fucking die you think I could just disappear and stop speaking my fucking word on this motherfucker hell nah I don't give a fuck if I got 50 subscribers I don't give a damn if I got two long as I reach them two motherfuckers and they reach two motherfuckers then we gonna be tooed out around this bitch but let's continue motherfucker Gail King is responding to backlash over a controversial question during an interview with a WNBA player Lisa Leslie about the legacy of her friend Kobe Bryant King brought up a sensitive subject the basketball legends 2003 rape charge see they not saying the rape charge that was dismissed or the wrongfully being charged you know like they'll do a Weinstein when Weinstein was wrongfully charged with rape you know that's some shit that they'll fucking say you know how they know how to play with these words for their own but look when he was doing this rape shit his 2003 rape charge get the fuck out of here let's continue y'all the criminal case against Bryant was dropped on September the 1st, 2004, after the accuser declined to testify. In August of that year, the woman filed a civil lawsuit, which was settled out of court on March 2nd. See, y'all, they always settling out of fucking court with these people. Nobody not fighting them tooth and nail. I want to say I'm not giving y'all a fucking penny, goddammit, talking about she declined to testify. You know why she probably declined? Because they find they found nine specimens of fucking semen inside of her god damn it along with Kobe Bryant's that's probably why she didn't testify and want to sit in front of stand and in front of judge and all the cameras and say yeah I had sex uh sexual relations over nine times where uh the uh male reached an orgasm over nine fucking times or was it just one uh time where everybody was there at the same but let's not even think about that bullshit she declined to testify acting like oh she was pressured or something oh she just declined because she was scared but settled out of court though so me too is all right to settle out of court don't stand on that shit then huh when you could get a couple millions or five hundred thousand under the table it ain't time to oh i'm so hurting inside that i must confess you ain't confess shit yet though huh see she got paid out of court man get the fuck out of here in a statement to usa today king responded to criticism to surrounding her a discussion with Leslie you are witnessing the rebel network I understand why, pe why people are upset seeing that clip out of context. Let's reread that, y'all. It said, I understand why people are upset seeing that clip out of context. We saw the fucking clip. We saw when you bought up the rape charge and we saw how it ended because Lisa Leslie played it very much classy and shut your stupid ass down. God damn it. That lady said that dude wasn't that kind of guy. Huh? Oh, well you wouldn't know well you wouldn't see it if you was friends some of us know how to read our friends we don't just throw the word friend around loosely god damn it if my friend is a pedophile you dirty motherfucker i'ma know you a pedophile because i i research my friends i pay attention to every fucking thing they say and if you slip up and say something oh well that kid look 
I'd be like, who is you? Nigga, what the fuck you just said? You know your fucking friends. You just don't throw that word around loosely. But I bet you if somebody told your fake ass, Oprah probably be raping men and little girls and shit. You'll be like, hell no, I know my friend. And Oprah wouldn't do that. God damn it, I bet you would, stupid ass. But since uh, uh, this man being accused by some caucasoid or whatever, god damn it, you just own a side, you and Oprah. Y'all always with the victim and all of that bullshit of anybody that's black by the way because they still running from Weinstein talking about Oprah talking about oh Russell Simmons ain't punked me yeah he punked your stupid ass because everybody exposed you for chasing down these fucking black men and some people say oh that's Oprah job no it is not Oprah job to fucking broadcast or retry somebody publicly publicly god damn it this man was acquitted if all the charges was dropped ain't no fucking legal proceedings going on it is not oprah fucking job to fucking publicly try somebody or publicly put somebody on trial god damn it the fucking man is dead or r kelly he fucking he's insane god damn it and y'all ain't get him when he supposedly done the bullshit so don't come after him now don't try to make him the face of it motherfucking weinstein got 90 victims and ain't nobody talking about them i don't hear oprah hugging them oh these 90 women and their stories you don't see that bullshit at sundance do you huh and it is all everything is about being black god damn it you don't see these people agenda but some of y'all you just want a job with them huh you won't get on a television screen and shit like that but let's stick to this old bullshit well she plays the shit out of us like we just so dumb and say you taking a clip out of context let's continue reading my dumb ass digressing and shit you are witnessing the Rebel Network. I hope they will now watch the entire wide ranging interview. We asked a longtime friend of Kobe Bryant's to talk to us about his legacy and their friendship. And Lisa Leslie did exactly that. We know that's what the fuck she did. But during that time where she talked about the legacy of Kobe Bryant and a friendship, she also talked about how your fake ass want to bring up a rape that was dismissed by some woman who had nine specimens of semen inside of her body and was too embarrassed to testify on the stand god damn it so why the fuck we gotta watch a whole fucking interview a whole wide ranging interview about the bullshit because other than that we taking it out of context get the fuck out of here you think i have to see a whole movie just to see the part when neo shot the dude and like he lifted up off his feet if that's all i wanted to see that's all i need to see and all your friends come to your boy you saw that part where neo shot that dude and he just lifted up off his feet do i how can i take that out of context god damn it i went to that part and i fucking watched it i don't need to know the whole story about why he shot him why he shot him he fucking did it god damn it the fuck is you talking about we need to see that long ass interview and support your weak ass in abc get the fuck out of here look at this shit let's continue you are witnessing the rebel network about halfway through the interview king brought up the allegation against brian get your stupid ass out of here it's been said that his legacy is complicated because of a sexual assault charge let's let's highlight that shit as we reread the bitch it's been said that his legacy is complicated because of a sexual assault charge uh gail king who said it since it's been said don't just throw it out there who said it goddamn that it's complicated why the fuck is it complicated when the case was thrown out why is it complicated if it was dismissed why is it complicated when she had nine specimens of semen inside of her why is it complicated about what the fuck he did on a basketball court he put ball in hoop motherfucker put ball in hoop one championship put ball in hoop what the fuck is, what does that have how does that affect his legacy because y'all still be on that old dumb T.O. shit, huh? God damn it, it don't matter what the man did on the field. You won't talk about who was crying in the locker room. Woo -hoo, man, T.O. be talking too much in the media. And this affected my play on the field. If you went your bitch ass on that field crying because T.O. said something. So you was affected to where, oh, I couldn't, I couldn't read the defense because T.O., you know, ESPN skip and everybody just not see all of that shit. I can't focus on the thing because of T.O. If you the type of 
type of idiot who got on the field thinking like that, you should fire yourself. And I almost say do something else to yourself, but you know how scary YouTube bitch made ass is. They'll shut down the whole video and every motherfucking thing. Everything done here by BT and the satire. But let's continue, y'all. She said it was complicated because of a sexual assault, assault charge that was dismissed. King asked the CBS Morning interview published Tuesday, is it complicated for, let me see, is it complicated for you as a woman, as an NBA player, see, you see how she tried to relate to her like, as a woman, try to get on that old woman shit to bash another black man down, goddamn it, through the media, to put a, another black man on trial through media, even if they acquitted, goddamn it, even if they dead, even if the charge is dismissed, look at her as a woman and a WNBA player. God damn it, look what that woman said to their silly ass. Look what that woman said. It's not complicated for me at all, Lisa Leslie replied. I just never ever seen him being that kind of person that would do something like that. God damn it. And right now, y'all, they got my little, you know, the little arrow and shit is spinning on there. So I can't move the page right now for some old odd fake ass reason. But they don't even fucking matter because we're going to block talk, break down what we looking at. You are witnessing the Rebel Network. The woman said, I just never, ever seen him being that kind of fucking person. And everybody in their right mind could look at Kobe Bryant and see what type of person he is, goddammit. He a really focused ass person, y'all. Kobe Bryant is really focused on what he have to do around this motherfucker. That dude don't even seem like the lusting type. And look what she said. Uh, uh, You wouldn't even know, you know, because fuck them. They sitting up there still making the arrow uh spin around in the oh there i go i got my arrow back with they fake ass every now and then they make the motherfucker start spinning now look it still don't slide down fuck y'all anyway let's break this down that woman say i ain't never seen him do no bullshit like that he will never violate no fucking body let me go back up Cause, Cause now you can see they trying to jump with the bullshit. Violate a woman or be aggressive in that way. That was just, he was just never that type of person. That was just never the person I know, my bad. Let's reread that. It's not complicated for me at all, Lisa Leslie replied. I just, oh, see how they keep fucking with the page, y'all? See, just jumping everywhere. I don't give a fuck. We still going. Look, slide that shit right back down with y'all hating ass. God damn it. It's not complicated for me at all. Leslie replied. I just never have seen him being that kind of person that would do something to violate a woman or be aggressive in that way. That was just never the person I knew. God damn it. Now, let's go down. Because y'all know I saw the bullshit already. Fake ass interview with a hack ass. Get the fuck out of here. But Lisa, you wouldn't see it though, she said. As his friend, you wouldn't see it. Why the fuck is that? As a... As I told y'all already, you vet your friends. It's like being a re in a relationship. You don't want, don't you want to know that person inside and out? Ain't you going to research the person? So I don't know how a lot of people do it, but if I call you my friend, I pay attention to your characteristics or what kind of uh, character you have, if any at all. And if you ha if you low in character, most likely you're not going to be my motherfucking friend. God damn it. I don't hang around fucking idiots. But look at her by you being his friend you wouldn't know oh just how y'all ain't know about old Weinstein huh because Oprah was his best friend and shit you know so she wouldn't know but she ain't out there trying to ask them 90 motherfucking women no questions though huh well damn how could I be so blind uh, I'm Oprah and all of that bullshit and Gail you was his best friend too most likely goddamn you was with him too goddamn it did you see it with motherfucking Weinstein look at her oh you wouldn't see it though and that one and Le Lisa Leslie told us stupid ass and, yeah and that's possible goddamn it I just don't believe that King then asked if it's even a fair question to talk about the ac accusation god damn it considering he's no longer with us and that it was resolved or if it is really really part of his history um 
having a rape charge dismissed that ain't a part of his history his history and legacy is on that stupid ass court where he put ball in fucking hoop that don't have nothing to do with if he kills somebody off the court which other people have done all kind of shit happen to people off the fucking court that don't have that don't make define who they are as a person or written in their goddamn history or in their fucking genetics or something what kind of bullshit is this that Gail King is talking about is it a fair question to ask well I guess it is fair because your lame ass asked it didn't you you still asked about a rape charge even though that fucking man dead and his family watching that shit you don't think they see that you don't think that this headline news that this is USA fucking today fuck out of here with they propaganda pushing ass let's read some more y'all According to Leslie, the media should be more respectful. See, the shit I just said, be more fucking respectful. Just like that person, Cynthia G. Oh, he was a rapist. Y'all don't know what the fuck he did and what the fuck that girl was saying. A lot of people make a career out of talking about black men. Yeah, I hate black men. Black men be choosing these people. And man, get your stupid ass out of here. Y'all need to shut these people down. I don't know how who the fuck is listening to these dumb ass people who just get paid to push black men head further and further down on this dumbass planet but guess what the fucking day has come to where we have risen god damn it our heads is no longer stuck in that sand we rising god damn it fuck out of here boy see see how i be digressing see all of this shit built in and my fucking teeth hurting right now shit let's keep going though if you had a question about it you've had many years to ask him that she continued i don't think it's something that we should keep hanging over his legacy you are witnessing a rebel network. You heard what she said? Y'all had seven fucking years to ask that dude that when he was alive and ain't none of y'all was worried about that rape case at fucking all. Because if so, you would have bought it up before you bought up Bill Cosby or motherfucking uh, R. Kelly and uh, Russell Simmons or whoever you're trying to dig up. You would have quickly said, oh, Kobe, remember this? But now that the fucking man dead, it's time to talk about that. That woman said, y'all had a fucking long time to talk about that and you didn't. So fuck get over it brian died in the motherfucking helicopter crash blah 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 and shit like that and understand y'all I'm not no big old Kobe fan or nothing like that. Kobe didn't just stand for us, but I have respect over here at BT and goddamn it. I ain't about to just shit on a man because I know a lot of y'all probably start crying. And even though that don't matter to me, goddamn it, I just have respect as a human being not to bring out how he could have did this or could have did this for blacks, goddamn it. See? Because we respectful over here at BTN. But that's besides what we focusing on. We focusing on how they sent Gail out again, y'all. To attack another dead person. The man body ain't even fucking cold yet. We know you done dug Michael Jackson up. His body was at least cold when y'all started uh throwing more dirt on him and shit like that. But Kobe body ain't even cold yet around this bitch. You did? Fuck, bruh. See, I had to just go in on that bullshit. I might have to go in a little later, too. Give Y'all sending your fucking topics. I'm going to try to push some shit through. And don't get mad at me if you ain't sending the topic, goddamn it. And then be copying talking about, man, I was waiting on you to talk about this. Man, your crazy ass should have gave me the topic then. Fuck. Sometimes, y'all, I just be sitting there like, what's the topic they probably want? You know? Shit. Let me know if y'all got a fucking uh, uh, topic, you did. But once again, as y'all can see, my fucking teeth starting to hurt bad now. You know, so I'm gonna have to wrap this shit up. But girl, them straight up piss me clean off with this bullshit. Look, look at somebody tweet. Girl King oh, this bullshit spinning again. The little circle. I wish y'all could see this every time I touch the goddamn skin the goddamn screen and shit. The motherfucking thing starts spinning. The little arrow that points to shit. Look, but at the bottom of the screen, y'all see some of that shit. That shit say, Girl King and Oprah seem to go after certain stories without class, but ignore the stories involving their Hollywood friends. You bring up something about Kobe right after his death for ratings or relevance. Kobe Bryant has passed away and journalists lack class. They do lack class, bruh. They don't have no goddamn class. Look at them. That's a fucking shame to try to get that man friend to talk about him. That's a shame. Look, Harvey Weinstein is still alive, but Gail rather asks old rape allegation questions about a man who just died last week. It's a shame, y'all.
It's a fucking shame. She she ain't going after Harvey though. They ain't about to talk about his raping them ninety women and shit. Goddamn it! It's a shame, bro. Look, look. The woman who uh, accused him of rape in two thousand three will not speak of him publicly. That's because they paid her enough money to shut her ass up. She been I say nothing. His family will sue the shit out of him. But let's wrap this shit up, y'all, cause uh. Motherfucking T heard on the real though. You did. Thank y'all for tuning in. Throw them topics in, y'all though. They, I be feeling bad from time to time, but I'm gonna make it do what it do when I got to. God damn it. Once again, y'all holla at me.